Hello everybody, welcome back to the video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get the hidden big head and find the big heads by using your masters. So yeah, let's get started. So first off, it's important that this is a fan-made game without any hacks because there's a big heads in this game. You would just get some badges, so it's still pretty cool, but just not to this one. So in order to get a hidden big head from a small bar over here, we're going to turn left and head over to the Scanlan area over here. Once you reach the Scanlan area over here, go to the top right corner of the Scanlan area where there should be entrance to the volcanic area. And once you reach the entrance to the volcanic area, keep going straight forward until you reach the volcano over there. And once you reach the volcano over here, keep going around the volcano until you reach the back side of the volcano where there is the entrance to the forest area. And once you reach the back side of the volcano, we're Turn left and head over to the back of the forest area where there should be the entrance to the neighborhood. Now, once you reach the neighborhood right over here, you keep going straight forward until you reach the entrance to the city area over there. Then, once you reach the entrance to the city area over here, you keep going straight forward until you reach Ava's daycare center right over there at the end of the road. And once you reach Ava's daycare center right over here, you want to turn right and head over to the right side right over here where you should find Eric's tech co right over here. And once you find Eric's tech co right over here, at the door it will say E to enter a computer, but you want to do whatever your device says to actually enter the building. So, I'm going to press E and now I should be in Eric's tech co right over here. And once you're in Eric's tech co, you want to head over to the checklist right over here and you want to scroll down all the way towards Hidden Bakehead. So right over here at Hidden Bakehead, there is a hint right over here. And it says in Eric's Deco, you want to find two buttons, then click three L objects, and then click the O S objects right over there. So just to recap, you need two buttons, three L objects, and those are actually letters. And this little O S thing is actually offline server. So you want to click on two buttons, three letters, and the offline server. So right over here, we're in front of the letters right over here at the front of Eric's Deco. And if you look closely, there are three different letters that are a bit darker gray than the rest of the letters on the wall right over here and that is actually R, apostrophe, and the T right over here. If you actually get close enough you can actually see that your mouse becomes clickable over those objects. So right over here you can go ahead and click on the R, the apostrophe, the T, and that should be the three letters done. So you should have the L completed now. So once you do that you can go left right over here and head over to the entrance of the office area over here. Now for the two buttons, the first button is over here right over there on the opposite side there is this break room right over here. Once you're into the break room you want to head over to the left side over here where there should be a bunch of sinks. Now, if you look on the right side of the sinks right over here, on the right of it, there is actually the first button right over here. So once you do find the first button, you can just go ahead and click it. It should be the first button done. And once you have the first button, you can exit this break room as there's nothing else in here. And you want to turn right and head over to the elevator right over here. And once you're at the elevator right over here, you want to do the same thing you did on the front door and you want to press E on computer or whatever your device says to actually enter. So I'm going to press E and now it should be on the second floor. Once you're on the second floor, you want to head over to the right side right over here and head over to the right side of these office rooms right over here. If you look at this little room right over here with this little telephone thing on the desk behind the computer on this little room right over here. There is actually the second button right over here. Once you do find the second button, you can just go ahead and click it. That should be the second one done. Once again, that is the second to last room on the third row right over here on the second floor. So now once you find that button, you can go ahead back to the area right over here that you just started in this floor. Now you can actually enter the server room because you want to look for the offline server now. So once you're in this room, you want to go to the third row of servers right over here. You want to look at the bottom row of the servers right over here. You want to keep going until you do see this red one right over here that says offline on it right over here. And once you do find the one on the bottom that says offline, I'm going to press on the green button right over here and then it will change it to be running. And once you do that, it should be all the steps completed and it should teleport you over here to this little hidden big head room. Right over here at the front of the room is actually the hidden big head right over here. Once you do find the hidden big head at the front of the room, you can just go ahead and touch it. It should be the hidden big head done. So yeah, hopefully this video is worth you guys. Look at the hidden big head for the big heads. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.